Okay, today we're going to go through the AT545 and 542 valve body swap. You're going to want to start by draining the oil and removing the oil pan. Then you can remove the bolt that retains the filter. Remove the suction tube from the case. Make sure to get the O-ring out of the case. Sometimes it gets stuck in there. Once you've got that done, you can start removing all the bolts that hold the valve body to the main case. It helps to leave two adjacent bolts hand tight so the oil can drain from the valve body while you're removing the first clutch feed tube and governor signal tubes. Use a screwdriver or pry bar to gently pry the feed tubes away from the main case out of their holes. The two governor signal pipes are the same, so when you go back together with it, you don't need to make sure that one of them's in the right position. They're both identical. Now you can remove your two adjacent bolts and the valve body will come free. When you're ready to go back in with the valve body, line up the modulator pin with the hole in the case and the manual selector valve with the pin on the detent. Start your two adjacent bolts finger tight while you install the pipes. Leaving these bolts loose will make it easy for you to install the governor signal pipes. Once you've got the pipes in place, make sure to line up the pin with the manual selector valve and make sure that it moves freely and that when you move the detent lever, the manual selector valve also moves with it. Replace the filter stand and install all the rest of the bolts. You can use a plastic hammer to tap the signal tubes in and make sure that they're seated. Make sure to start all bolts by hand to avoid thread damage. Once all the bolts are in place, torque them down to 110 inch pounds. Reinstall your filter and filter bolt. You wanna make sure that the pickup tube is seated in the oil filter and the O-ring is in place in the case. If you have any questions on this procedure, feel free to call 800-872-6697 or visit our website, wellertruck.com.